kids, I'm here to show you what you need for your strength and balance class that we're going to do together. You need a nice safe space, okay? Make sure that nothing is on the floor inhibiting your space. You need a nice area. Also, go ahead and grab a sturdy chair, one that is the right height for you. So when you sit down in your chair, your knee joints are around 90 degrees. For some of the strength training exercises, we will need some free weights that look just like this. If you don't have any free weights, that's quite all right. Go ahead and grab a canned food, okay, two of them. Then for some of the strength training, we'll use a TheraBand. And if you don't have a TheraBand, that's okay too. Go ahead and grab some old exercise pants or yoga pants. So I look forward to doing the class with you. All right, welcome everybody to balance class. Make sure that you have a nice sturdy chair next to you or preferably in front of you and a safe space around you. Nothing on the floor, no toys, nothing inhibiting your space. And I want you to try your best to feel the floor with your feet. Feel the floor with your feet. Good, now place your hand over your belly button and think about your center of gravity, which is about two inches in from your belly button. Now get that center of gravity equally in between those two feet. Your stance should be comfortable for you. Mine's a little wider than shoulder width. Yours can be the same or different. It's all up to you. Now I want you to think about a vertical line starting from the crown of your head through that center of gravity and onto the floor. Make sure it's nice and straight. Crown of your head through your center of gravity two inches in from your belly button and straight down to the floor, making sure that it's equally in between both feet. Now let's take a straight vertical line on the sides of us. Ear lobes on top of shoulders, shoulders on top of hips. Those are square to the front. They stay that way because our abs are contracted in. Chest is open, chin parallel to the floor. So think about this straight vertical line through your center of gravity and this straight vertical line also through your center of gravity ends at the arches of your feet. Now you can place your hands on those square hips and take your center of gravity over to the right leg, through the middle, and over to the left leg. Here, you're wanting to keep that vertical line nice and straight, shifting that center of gravity over and making sure it's equally in between both feet. Equally in between both feet. Hips stay square. Good. And then back to the center. Now, if you're right behind your chair, go ahead and place your hands on the chair. I'm going to turn to the side, making sure your line is nice and straight. You're going to do your heel raises. You're going to think about contracting your glutes and your abs at the same time. Your center of gravity goes forward and up with you. I'm placing my hand straight down so you can see the straight vertical line. It goes forward and up and you want to take the majority of your weight and make sure that you put it towards your center of gravity. So think about your big toes in between your big toes, right where the toe meets the foot. Forward and up. Excellent. Abdominals tight, chest is open. Good. Excellent. Once more. Now we're going to think big toe balance, contracting those abs. Good. And relax down. Good. Give those legs a nice shake. Now staying behind your chair or on the side of your chair, you're going to take your center of gravity over to one leg and you're going to 
extend the outside leg and do your abductor lifts. Here you make sure that your knee and toe are facing the front and that you're lifting up as best as you can off that supporting leg. You'll feel it in both sides of your hips and down. Good. Now come to the other side of your chair. I'm just doing that to show you, but don't feel like you have to do that. You could go on the side of the wall or just turn around and do your abductor lifts on this side. Always think about growing taller. That'll help keep that vertical line nice and straight. Again, you'll feel it on both sides of your hips. Good. Once more. Good. And relax. Now roll through your feet by pushing off the floor and think toe ball heel on the way down and think about pressing off the floor each time. Your abs stay tight and then your arm swing is about 45 degrees from your torso. So I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. Go at your own pace. You're going to walk in place. You can narrow your base of support if that's better for you. And then gently and carefully look over to the right side and back down. Staying balanced by proper arm swing. Gently look over to the left side and back in place. Good job keeping the abs tight, knowing where your center of gravity is. Gently look over to the right. Say your last name and back to the center. Gently over to the left, say your first name, and back to the center. Good, and relax down. Good, one more set of the heel raises, again contracting the glutes, contracting the abs. We're gonna do five with a balance at the end. I'm gonna put my hands straight down here so you can see. You're going to go forward and up. You're right behind your chair or on the side of the wall like I am. Good. Forward and up. Excellent. And then once more. And hold. Abs tight. Grow taller. Big toe balance. Big toe balance. And relax down. Excellent. All right, go ahead and grab your free weights, free weights or uh, water bottles or canned goods, anything to put a little extra weight or resistance, I should say. Get a nice safe stance and a five degree bend in your knees. You're going to warm up your upper body by doing your bicep curls. I like to do one at a time, so I'm concentrating on both arms at the same time. Know that you keep your elbows in place. That's the axis of your rotation. Good. Four more like this. Four. Knees at a slight degree bend. And then relax down. Rotate your arms out. Same thing, but in a different plane. Using those biceps. You might notice that you might be a little weaker on the lateral side of your biceps. That's what I notice here on this exercise. Good job keeping your elbows in place. Four more, four, three, two, one, and down. Good. Shoulder rolls, contracting your shoulder blades together each time. You got it, two more, once more, good. Now you're gonna bend your elbows to 90 degrees. I'm gonna go like this so you can see. You're gonna use your deltoids. Those are your shoulder pad muscles. You're gonna move from your shoulder joint, lifting the arms up and lower. Just rotating those 90 degree angles out to the side and in. Only go up to shoulder height using those shoulder pad muscles, those deltoids, keeping the shoulder girdle in place, neck relaxed. Good. 
you're going to breathe out on the way up and on the way down. Breathe out. Good. Once more. And relax down. Good. One more before we place them down. I'm going to turn to the side. Your arms are straight. Your vertical line is straight. Your abs are tight. You're going to extend the arms straight back. Notice that your center of gravity wants to go forward. So keep it right in the middle. Keep it in place. Just use the back of those deltoids and your triceps, back of the upper arm, to press those arms straight back. Importantly, keep those abdominals contracted and your vertical line straight. With every single exercise you do, you want to use your full range of motion. So go to your full potential, but know that some days, sometimes some shoulders don't want to um, cooperate or you never want to experience any sort of pain. So don't push yourself to that level and rest. And then four shoulder rolls again, up and back, contracting your shoulder blades together. Two more. Good. Now that you have your weights in your hands, let gravity relax your shoulders down. Now let the weight of your head rest your ear towards your shoulder. And carefully come up and then rest your ear towards your other shoulder. And carefully come up. Good. Now chin towards your chest. And carefully come up. Good. Place those weights somewhere safe, not on the floor. You could place them inside your chair. <clears throat> and here you're at the back of your chair. You're going to do a balance exercise. So we know that the three main systems of balance is your vision, proprioception, muscles and joints, and vestibular system. So that's your inner ear that sends sensory information regarding your equilibrium and your motion and gravity, okay? It lets your mind know exactly what you're doing in space. So we're gonna take away that vision portion of balance to rely on proprioception and our vestibular system. So in the back of your chair, make sure you have a nice safe stance. Make sure your vertical line is nice and straight. Crown of your head through your center onto the floor. And this vertical line and this plane is straight. Earlobes on top of shoulders, shoulders on top of hips, straight down to the arches of your feet, the middle of your feet. Get those abs tight. So here, you're going to concentrate on that straight vertical line in front of you. That's what helps you balance better, a vertical line, eye level, side of a door window. Now we're going to take away the vision. So close your eyes if you're comfortable with that and allow yourself to rely on proprioception. So feeling the floor with your feet, knowing where your limbs are by proprioception and get that sensory information from your inner ear to your brain working hard. Now, carefully take your arms out to a T, keeping those abs tight. Gently and carefully bring your arms forward. Feel the floor with your feet. Notice that your center of gravity wants to move. Now take the left arm out to the side and then L. And then change the L. Left arm forward, right arm side. And then once more, changing the L, right arm forward, left arm side. Feel the floor with your feet. Last one, left arm forward, right arm side. And then arms down by your sides. Grow taller, abs tight. Use your hip muscles, your glutes. Contract those in to keep that center right where it needs to be. Now we're gonna do our arm swing forward with the right, back with the left, and switch. Motion is at your shoulder joint, using those shoulder muscles. Abs are tight, you're contracting, 
your hip muscles, glutes, to keep the center of gravity right in the middle of both feet. Your eyes are closed because you took away that vision and you're relying on proprioception and your vestibular system to help you balance. Good, and then both arms down by your sides. Carefully open your eyes back up. Give yourself that vision again. And then now we're gonna make it more difficult to balance by narrowing your base of support. Importantly, you want flat feet here, flat feet, okay? Always feel safe when you're standing, especially when you're practicing balance. So you're in the back of your chair, you're narrowing your base of support, however best for you. Get the vertical line from your crown of your head through your center onto the floor that's right there, right where that those two feet meet at the arches. Use your hip muscles and your glutes and your abs. Contract those to keep that center right where it needs to be. So you have your hands on your chair. Gently and carefully lift them out to a T. Abs are tight. Take that right arm forward, left arm side, and then gently and carefully, left arm forward, right arm side. Gently lift that arm straight up, and then carefully switch. Right arm up, left arm side. And then both arms out to a T. Carefully arms down by your sides. And if you feel comfortable, both arms straight back. Get that center right in the middle of those two arches. And then bring your arms down by your side. Shoulder rolls up and back. Feel the floor with your feet. Notice how your center wants to go forward and back with you. Once more and rest. Now grow taller, think about your center and your spine elongating up towards the ceiling. Think about this vertical line and this vertical line. Get both nice and straight, get those abs tight. Use your hips and your glutes to contract and hold your center right where it needs to be. That'll help you in every Balance practice, contracting those abs, using those hips and glutes to put that center of gravity in between the base of support and keeping it there. Good, relax those legs, relax those legs. Now we're gonna practice lifting one leg up and taking it out to the side and then pushing ourselves back to center. So come to the side of your chair or you could do this like, um, next to a, a wall, keep the chest open. I like to have my hands out, um, but you can have your one hand on the chair. Practice lifting up the knee and taking the leg out and push yourself back to center. Knee up, leg out. It doesn't have to be too wide here. All we're doing is practicing lifting our knee up first because that's what we wanna do with each step, right? We wanna lift our knee up first. And we're practicing taking one leg out to the side just in case we are ever not feeling right, dizzy, maybe a little off balance. We're widening the base of support to make it easier for us to get that center of gravity in the middle. Sometimes when your center of gravity goes off to the side, lifting a one leg up and taking it out should help you get that center back where it needs to be in the middle, equally in the middle of your base of support. Good. Once more. Excellent. Now we're going to turn towards our chair and we're going to practice lifting one knee up and widening our base of support to the back. Okay. So this is for do not do this, but I'm just going to demonstrate. Let's say your center of gravity goes way off. You're going to widen your base of support to the back to get that center right where it needs to be. So that's what this practice is for. So lift one knee up, widen the base, and then push off the floor. It could be nice and easy. Try not to practice what I just showed. I just 
showed how your center of gravity could go off if your head goes back first. So that's why we're practicing lifting the knee up because that's the way we need to walk and widening our base of support to the back in case our center of gravity goes too far back. You're also increasing your agility. Good job. Good job keeping your chest open. Go at your own pace with everything. Good. One more on each side. Good. And rest. Now we're going to practice the other leg, okay? So you could either turn around. Hopefully you don't have to do this, what I just did, because that's not too ergonomically correct there. All right, now you're gonna lift the outside leg up and out, and then push back to center. Lift the knee up, and then widen the base of support. Good, lift the knee up. Lift up. Good, two more. And rest, good. So this next balance practice will be semi-tandem or tandem balance. Okay, so the most important thing to know is taking that, making sure the center of gravity is equally in between both feet. Okay, so you're standing behind your chair or on the side if you're more comfortable with that. You're going to shift your center of gravity over to this right leg. So that center of gravity line is right here. Now move this left foot in so your heel meets the arch or heel meets the toe. You know what's best for you. Importantly, get those feet flat on the floor and then bring that center of gravity forward and get it equally in the middle of your base of support, whether that be where the toe meets the heel or heel meets the arch. Now get that vertical line nice and straight and this vertical line nice and straight. Abs are contracted in. Good. Only if you feel comfortable keeping your eyes open using your vision, take your arms out to a T. Excellent. Bring your arms forward. Your center of gravity wants to go forward, so grow taller and make sure that center stays in the middle. Gently place your arms down by your sides. Think about your vertical line, crown of your head through your center onto the floor where the toe meets the heel and the vertical line, earlobes on top of shoulders, shoulders on top of hips ends right equally in the middle of the base of support. Good. Now shift your weight all the way back to the back leg and take the other leg out to the side. Good. We're going to do the same thing but to the other side. So take that center of gravity line and place it over to this left foot. Carefully bring your right heel in either to the arch or forward to where the heel meets the toe. Now bring that center forward, keeping those abs tight. Use your hip muscles, use your glutes, use your abs to keep your center where it should be. Think about your vertical line here, crown of your head through your center, equally in between the base. Now here, earlobes on top of shoulders, shoulders on top of hips, ends equally at the base. Good. Carefully take your arms out to a T. Carefully bring your arms forward. Use proprioception. Use vision. Use your vestibular system. Keep those abs tight. Carefully bring them down by your side. Grow taller. Abs tighter. Use your hips. Use your glutes. Now shift your weight to the back leg, lift the knee, and take it out to the side. Good job. Now, importantly, as we know, we want to keep our glutes strong. Your seats 
strong forever. That's the powerhouse of your whole body. And as you know, it helps keep everything together and everything nice and balanced. So come to the back of your chair. I'm going to turn this way. Shift your center of gravity over to the right leg. Bend your left knee and do your kickbacks. Do your kickbacks and think about your posture here. Think about growing taller. Also think about it fully extending that heel back to kick the back wall and contract those seat muscles each time. Contract. Grow taller. Abs still tight. Give me two more to make 12 and switch sides. Shift the center of gravity over. Bend the other knee. Grow taller. Lifting up out of this hip and contract the seats. 12 of these kickbacks. Abs stay tight. You still have the straight vertical line that ends at that one arch of the one foot that's on the floor. So you're doing a single leg balance and exercise all at the same time. Good. I have three more to make 12. Go at your own pace. Fully extend that heel back. And rest. Excellent. Give those legs a shake. You should feel it in both sides of the hips and those seat muscles. Now, single leg balance. So here at one side of your chair, center of gravity line, shift over to the right side. When you're ready, carefully bend that knee and then lift the knee up towards the ceiling, grow taller, abs tight, use the hips, use the glutes. Vertical line straight, vertical line straight. Ends right at the arch of that foot. Roll the ankle around in a circle, both ways. Good, now with your hip and your hip muscles, you could swing, so you still have one hand on the chair. I am putting it like this so you can see that the center of gravity line is right over that one arch. Lift the knee, grow taller, abs tighter, and relax down. Now, with this hand on the side, transfer the vertical line over to this right, or to this left leg, carefully bend that would be your right leg. Lift the knee up and rotate the ankle around in a circle. Both ways. Abs tight, grow taller. With your hips and your hip muscles, you could swing from your hip joint, knee up, heel back. Nice and easy, feel the floor with your feet. Good, once more. Lift the knee, grow taller, abs tighter, abs tighter, and rest. Place that center right where it needs to be. Good. Give your legs a shake. We're gonna do another set for our upper body strength. So grab your free weights or your water jugs and get a nice, um, solid, safe stance. Get a five degree bend in your knees. Get those abs tight. Think about your straight vertical line. You're gonna do a bicep curl to an overhead press, only using your biceps here and your deltoids at your shoulders. You're gonna breathe out and press up. Breathe in and straight. Good, breathe out. Press up, breathe in and straight. Good. Breathe out. Press up. Breathe in and straight. Good. Breathe out. Press up. Breathe in and straight. Good. Breathe in and straight. Good. Five more. Breathe out. Five. Press up. Good, breathe out, four, press. Breathe out, three, using just the deltoids. Good job keeping those abs tight, 
body straight, breathe out, press up, breathe in, one more time, breathe out, press up, breathe in, and straight, good. We're going to rotate the hands to face me from your shoulder joint, knees at a five degree bend, only if you feel like this is right for you, use the deltoids and lift the arms just up to shoulder height. Breathe out. <sighs> Using just the deltoids, which are your shoulder pad muscles. We're protecting those shoulder joints by strengthening these nice muscles that protect it. <sighs> Good, five more. Breathe out, four, good, and then relax, let the weight of the head rest your ear towards your shoulder. And then chin towards your chest. And then let the weight of your head rest your ear towards your other shoulder. And up. Excellent. Okay, place those weights somewhere safe, like on a table. And then we're going to come down 